welcome. Today is October 10th, 2022, and I'm here to do our weekly check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and the holy angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. So before I get into today's uh, channel message, first, I'd like to go ahead and burn some sage to uh, give a cleanse before we get into today's reading. And also, there's just a few announcements that I'd like to make. And the announcement is, is that I had um, personal readings on sale last week. And uh, thank you to everyone who had booked a personal reading. Um, I'm behind. <laughs> so uh, if you guys could just be patient with me. Uh, while I get through all of the emails and things like that, then um, just know I did receive your um, your booking. It's just it's really uh, difficult for me to respond. Okay, so I'm going to try my very best to respond to everyone today. If you've booked a expedited reading, then I'll definitely get to your reading today. Okay, if you booked an expedited reading last week. Um, and also, since um, there were so many people that had booked a reading during uh, the time frame with the sale, I will actually extend the sale until the 15th. How's that? So that way um, you're not feeling like you're rushed, but just know that I am a little bit delayed and I need some time to... Uh, sort out through all the emails and respond to the ones who have booked a reading. So thank you um, to all of those who have booked a reading with me um, so far. The other thing is, is that Terra Visions is in production. And so if you haven't already and you're very interested in my latest tarot deck, then go ahead and check it out. It is on my Etsy shop and also on my website, www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. So with that being said, let's get on with the reading. All right, guys. So um, today I would like to focus in on you, them, and the karmic. So this is you, your divine masculine or divine counterpart, and the karmic situation. So let's go ahead and see what spirit brings uh, to the collective at this time. You know, uh, 10 is a number of completion, and it's an ending of a cycle. And so Twos are a state of duality. And so two plus two is four, but also plus two is six, which could mean a decision in regards to love, like a past love or what it is that you want in a loving relationship. So as cycles complete, there is an opportunity for a new beginning. So let's see, because I'm very curious to see what is going on with the collective in terms of every situation that, that you could think of, right? So let's see. Spirit, can you please bring forth clear messages in regards to uh, divine masculine? Also, can you please reveal the energy of divine feminine? And also, can you please reveal the karmic energy? So if you're interested in this particular reading for yourself, it is called You, Them, and the Karmic. It is on my website, and um, this is not the complete reading that I normally perform for the individual, but it's almost, okay? So just so you have some sort of idea as to what that reading 
what actually reveals. So let's see. All right, so we have here a woman holding a coin, but it's in reverse. So I see here number 42. Again, this is about choices and decisions in regards to a partnership or a relationship. Um, I have a feeling like these masculines are letting go of a situation, dealing with a karmic, and it's all based off of materialism. Okay, so... Um, I have a feeling like the karmic had expectations that the masculine was going to be in support of them, but I really feel like masculines are either carrying out some sort of ultimatum with the karmic or they're not allowing the karmic to kind of control this masculine in terms of, I don't know, manipulation in regards to financial security. I honestly feel that the masculines are stepping up and they are giving the option towards the karmic as to what they will and will not do. So uh, in a sense, this feels as if masculines are setting some sort of boundaries. They could have had some sort of discussion. Uh, that's the feeling that I'm getting. Towards the feminine, we have here angel balance. So masculines, again, we have here at number 48. So masculines are feeling very stable and they're learning to open up their throat chakra. You know, we have here the pyramids uh, behind this angel. So this is like communication coming in from divine masculine. Masculines, they really want to send a divine feminine a message. But I really feel that for some, masculines are sending this to you telepathically or through dream state. Okay, because I really feel like there is like this portal uh, for this masculine to communicate to the feminine. And right now they're feeling very balanced and secure. So even if this masculine doesn't communicate to the feminine in the physical, they feel okay about it. And they are in awareness that feminines, you too might be okay that you're also not hearing from divine masculine. I'm also saying that masculines are letting go of a community of people because whoever that they're associated with, they are no longer in that same vibration with uh, whoever that they were talking to in their uh, 3D environment. So there's definitely some change. There's a letting go of a karmic situation, also letting go of groups of people that maybe this karmic was associated with. The other thing I'm also hearing is that the masculine and the karmic are, are kind of like, you know, their interests are like kind of different these days. So if uh, the karmic was wanting to socialize with a group of people, but masculine is no longer resonating with those group of people, or let's just say that they never did and they were trying to blend to fit in. I have a feeling like masculines are taking the initiative to kind of let this karmic know that uh, the, the masculine is not interested in uh, associating themselves with those groups of people. Okay. I have a feeling like this past weekend, there were some conversations or discussions, uh, in regards to this particular masculine and the karmic situation about differences of opinions, you know, what your likes and dislikes are, you know, it's almost as if like getting to know each other on a deeper level. And, um, and really resolving any kind of conflicts or any kind of uh, disagreements that they may have. Now, with you, feminine, I see here a magician and a mayor. Okay, so I have a feeling like there's some sort of change in regards to maybe your working situation or working with this energy dealing with your divine counterpart. Okay, um, I have a feeling like you're reflecting a lot about yourself um you're actually feeling the masculine energy and um by you you know harnessing your masculine feminine energy from within you're indirectly helping this masculine to do the same so i really feel like there is a change in this masculine uh where they're actually doing something in their 3d physical environment okay uh you know whatever that's going on with them and their, their physical life. And for you, feminine, you're kind of spiritual. You're working on your higher self and connecting uh, uh, with the divine. But also, uh, whatever that is going on inside. 
Okay, so I see that you're actually actively doing spiritual work. Now, with the karmic, we have fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. And what I'm getting with this is that this is the throat chakra. So this is about maybe uh, third party situations and putting an end to the third party. So again, I have a feeling like this weekend, there is conversations between the karmic and divine masculine. Masculine is telling the karmic that I can't support you in your hobbies or whatever it is that you want. So let's say that the karmic wanted uh, masculine to invest into like, I don't know, a get together or just kind of like showing out in front of like a group of people. And um, they had like some sort of conversation here. And I really feel like they've reached a conclusion in regards to this karmic and this masculine. Because I definitely feel like there was some sort of like discussion about third party situations like family. It could be like a, a group of friends, whatever this is. I really feel like there's like different different energies that I'm, I'm picking up on masculine and the karmic so let's go ahead and clarify their energies spirit can you please reveal to me what is going on beneath the surface with masculine feminine and the karmic what is going on with your subconscious energy what is it that they may not be aware of in their conscious state what is going on beneath the surface? Thank you. So let's see. So I see what do you need to release and it's in reverse. So if there's something that masculine hasn't been able to let go. And I really feel like it's this uh, karmic energy here. For some, if your person is married, because this is what the pentacle represents, um, some of these masculines are knowing that they need to release a karmic partner. So for some of these uh, divine counterparts that the feminines are dealing with, they are still with the karmic. They are still married to them. Uh, are they divorced yet? No. Okay, they're still together, but they're still going through like these this back and forth energy, you know, and trying to make things work between, you know, karmic and the masculine. Okay, masculine knows that they need to release this situation dealing with the karmic, but for whatever reason, they're holding on. So if, if that's the case, then that means that this masculine still has some sort of karmic lesson that they need to learn. Now, mind you, okay, we, we're at like a 10-10 portal here. There's a, an opportunity for ending so that new beginnings can happen. And also, we're going to have like a solar eclipse and Scorpio at the end of the month. And so what is this masculine going to do with this energy, right? Also, we have here, nothing is yet set in stone and it is in reverse. So I really feel like what's kind of like semi-permanent here in regards to this masculine towards uh, the feminine is balance. Masculine always feels balance with the divine feminine. So whether or not you're with them in the physical or not, they're definitely sensing this spiritual connection with you, feminine. Um, I really feel that, you know, things are kind of like fixed in that regard. They know that you'll never like, you know, disappear from the masculine, even though physically you're nowhere to be seen, right? At least for some of my feminines. But there's always like this connection. And I really feel like it's a telepathic or... Uh, you know, a spiritual connection that you have that this masculine has to the feminine. It's like, you know, you have like this uh, line that you can't uh, cut off. There's always lines of communication going on between you and this uh, particular person. Now, also, I see here con uh, conclusions are within reach, but it is in reverse. So with this community of people, I have a feeling like Things are a little bit muddled. We just had a passing of a full moon. And remember, we have eclipses that are coming up in the, at the end of the month. And so what I'm getting is that there's still like some karma that this masculine needs to deal with a group of people. It feels like family, like friends, whatever these groups of people that this masculine is dealing with with the karmic 
that's what it feels like. And it feels like family. Okay. And that's for some, but for some, I feel like it could be like a job situation or, you know, friends, you know, take it as it resonates. This is a blockage here. This group of people that masculine would like to, you know, kind of like resolve and kind of like, you know, kind of move on to the next thing. Right. But they haven't reached a conclusion yet on how to do it. That's why they have a hard time of releasing the situation, dealing with the karmic. They know what they need to release. Okay. And it's this person who seems to be controlling or have expectations. So if this is a spouse, the spouse has expectations that masculine is going to perform for the karmic, even though that masculine doesn't want to do it. It's going to take, you know, I don't know, some balls for this masculine to put their foot down and say, no, I'm sorry, I can't do this. And it's not because, you know, um, I can't, it's because they won't. And, and it just goes against what whatever that they, you know, believe or whatever that they want, you know, to do, you know, because I really feel like in this regard, like what is the karmic doing for this masculine? If they're always constantly asking the masculine to do, do, do for them, what are they doing for divine masculine? Now that is the karmic situation that's going on between masculine and the karmic. Okay. So with the feminines, we have a contract. Wow. Actually, no, that's not it. <laughs> there might be a contract though. You know, that this actually, okay, so this was the top card. This actually goes with this. So for some of my feminines, if you're in a relationship, you're possibly needing to balance yourself out so that you can get out of those situations. So this could be like, you know, maybe you have a karmic partner that you need to get a relationship. So just because I'm talking about this divine masculine, I could also be talking about you feminine because you and masculine are one and the same. Both you guys share like this energetic connection between one another. You know, it's kind of like a state of duality until you guys have a sense of equilibrium or neutral like position in your energy. That is when you guys can actually have physical union. But if this is going on, okay, obviously a true union cannot take place because of these situations that are actually going on in real time. Now, let's see here. I guess this is it, right? You're very close to achieving your goal. So feminine, okay, if you've been really balancing yourself out, if you've been doing the reflection and um, you have what it takes to manifest the things that you wish and desire, you're very close. So, you know, stand strong, persevere, okay? Don't budge when, when you're being swayed. Just keep doing what you're doing, okay? So if you have any kind of question, you need like a sign from spirit or from the universe, just know that you're on the right path. Just do keep doing what you're doing. So there's nothing that, um, that you really need to be in awareness of other than what's going on between masculine and the karmic. So with the karmic, we have expect a powerful change. And look, we have a new moon eclipse, which is coming up around the end of the month. So this is kind of ironic, right? We're having uh, eclipse moons, right? That is going on. Uh, and also the new moon eclipse and the full moon eclipse, which are both coming uh, in the coming, like at the end of the month until next month. So this is going on right now. So right now, this karmic, okay, there, there's something until they speak whatever is going on and have a conversation with the masculine, there won't be any change, okay? There's a stuckness energy that I'm feeling. Masculine needs to stick up for themselves. And this karmic, you know, they have the ability to communicate but there's not much change that's going on. It feels as if the karmic wants it their way or no way, you know, where they're not going to budge and, you know, whatever that they think, you know. So I really feel like whoever this masculine is dealing with, they are not dealing with, I'm not saying that they're not spiritual in nature. They could be spiritual, but it's not on the level of connection, on a deep connection with the divine feminine. Okay. 
So whoever this karmic is, maybe they have another soul connection that fits the vibrational match for this particular person. Or right now, this karmic is a vibrational match to divine masculine because they're still kind of stuck together, if that's the case. And masculines, you know, they, they have the power, the capacity to really work through this energy. It's just they have free will to decide whether or not they want to fix this or not. And if they don't, okay, then universe is going to keep this masculine in another karmic cycle until they get it right. Okay, so this is karma. This is samsara. And that's the nature of how karma works. You can't get off the karmic wheel until you've learned that lesson. Sorry, you know. <laughs> that's how the cookie crumbles so let's go ahead and see what are their energies between masculine and feminine Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the current overall energy of our collective divine masculines and what is the energy of our collective divine feminines and what are their energies towards one another? How do they currently think of one another at this time? How are they feeling towards one another? What do they want from each other in this moment and what is the outcome? So let's go ahead and tap into current energies. This is uh, October 10th, 2022. What is going on with this collective? Thank you, Spirit. Let's see. All right. So what I'm seeing here is that masculines are kind of sad. Okay, they're kind of sad that they're feeling at a loss. Maybe they have some sort of regret for some. Okay, they are actually going through a divorce. Um, there's definitely like a feelings of a separation between masculine and the feminine. And masculines, you know, they're going through some kind of energy here, whether or not they're not, um, you know, portraying or expressing this publicly. Okay, I really feel like this is more internal. Also, I'm seeing that uh, we have here the Ace of Swords, so there will be a victory, okay, where masculine is coming out with the truth that they have a lot of fear. They want to reveal some sort of secrets, and the secret is, is that, you know, they want to have fun. They want to be happy. They want to be successful when it comes to life in general, okay? Um, they know they have backstabbed the feminine. They have betrayed the feminine, and there is a sense of bitterness uh, that I feel between the two of you. You know, um, for some, this person actually told the feminine goodbye, okay? And for some of my feminines, you never got, you know, you know, an ending, you know, for some, maybe you got ghosted by this masculine while this masculine continued to live their life with a karmic, okay? So there's a lot of regret and hurt feelings coming from this masculine. They're aware. That's why consciously they're in this position right now, in a crouched position where um, they may be, you know, having, uh, you know, inducing, you know, sickness uh, upon themselves because they haven't been able to, you know, communicate to the feminine. But I saw in the overall energy here that masculines, you know, saw the angel of balance with the feminine and you balance this masculine. So it kind of sucks, right? Masculine here is under the bridge. They're filling down and out. You know, they know that the karmic situation, what, what it was all cracked out to be. Okay. Grass wasn't green on that side and it left a karmic uh, empty okay with this masculine you always fulfilled this masculine you always brought up this masculine you always you know um you know boosted their ego you know where is the karmic is the karmic boosting their ego or is the karmic placing demands on the masculine because of selfish reasons 
Okay, so that is the lesson that I'm feeling very strongly that this masculine is currently going through. And I feel also that there's a sense of clarity that's going on because I see here that they're, they're doing some meditation. They realize that the feminine was always giving this masculine their love. Masculine always turned their back away from the feminine for their own selfish reasons, right? And I see that now they're also turning their back away from the karmic situation. They thought that maybe the karmic was something Something that they could hold on to, something that they can endure, you know, um, because they have chosen the karmic path. But now at this point, masculines are thinking that, you know, they regret that they had missed opportunities with the feminine. Feminine gave that offer to the masculine at some point, but masculine, they chose the karmic. So masculines have been really thinking about this. Okay, feminine. So if you're thinking like is masculine thinking about me, you know, if they're still like with the karmic situation, yes, they have thought of you. Okay, I, I see it right here. Also, you know, they're actually feeling stuck. Okay, so there's a feeling of uh, like feeling like they're the victim. So this is where maybe a the karmic uh, kind of place the masculine in a little stuck position because maybe there's groups of people and you know it's different for everyone right i feel like the karmic has their group of people the masculine has their group of people whenever masculine wanted to do things with their group of people you know maybe the karmic you know they were you know playing along you know try to you know kind of fit and blend in to the masculine's group of people but also the same token you know the karmic also has their karmic you know, community or groups of people. And the masculine tried to blend in in that regard. And it, it just seems a little bit difficult. Okay. At least that's what it seems like. And both of them are feeling like the victim. I'm also getting that, you know, there's a stuck energy here that this masculine feels like, you know, they kind of put themselves in a corner. Okay. Now, this is like self imposed. Do you see that they feel kind of stuck? They don't, they don't have to. There is a sort of truth, okay? I don't know if you guys can see this, but I purposely created this where all of the swords are, are coming down, okay? This is the feelings of entrapment, feeling stuck. But there's one sword that wields the truth. So you see one sword going down, one sword going up, okay? And, you know, this is the air energy. This person is all in their head. They have the power to choose to get out of their head or they have the power to choose to just stay stuck, you know? You know, what is it? You know, this person is definitely like all in their head about the situation. And they keep thinking about the past. This masculine wants reunion with the feminine. So for some of these masculines, you know, they, they feel like, you know, they're unreliable. They come in very quickly, don't think things through, and they're trying to come up with some sort of idea. Right now, their intuition is blocked, and they're acting kind of immature, and they feel like they, they want to give up, okay? They're a little bit overwhelmed with the Seven of Wands energy, and I see that uh, they're going through some sort of awakening, and they're starting to lose their faith, okay? Um, they know they need to work on themselves and they need to change and transform in order to have that new beginning with you. So right now, they're just working on themselves, okay? They're not really putting any effort into the connection, at least not right now. And they're trying to do some soul searching. They are definitely thinking about you, feminine, but they don't know how, okay? So in the very beginning, okay, I pulled these cards, right? And we have here a woman holding a coin and it says, what do you need to release? Okay. They're still trying to figure it out. They know what they need to do. They need to release the karmic. Are they ready to do it? For some, maybe. For others, they're still contemplating this. Okay. There's still like a stuck energy. Nothing is yet set in stone. At least with you, okay, there's a, there's a level of permanence with how this masculine feels balanced with you. Okay, it doesn't matter if you guys are together or separated. You guys have like the spiritual connection that they don't have with this karmic because this person is materialistic. They're with the masculine in the 3D. Okay, uh, that's what I'm seeing. And feminines, you know, you're trying to be like this wizard over here, trying to balance out your, uh, you know, masculine, feminine energy from within. 
Okay, and I see that this is like your thoughts and also taking action. So you're trying to really work on yourself. You're very close. So we're going to get to that at the very end. You know, there's definitely some sort of communication or conversations that's happening with this karmic with the masculine. They don't expect much, but they're still holding on to their mundane, everyday 3D life. Okay, so let's see. So for the masculines, okay, I see that, you know, how they're thinking about the feminine is that they're feeling very confident that, you know, um, they're holding back from communicating to you. They're frustrated. Um, and I really feel like it's because they still want to keep up with their appearance. Okay. So this is a personal issue that this masculine has. They're trying to uphold like, you know, they got their stuff together, but really, you know, they're just playing it safe. Okay. Now with you feminine, I see here Knight of Pentacles, you're being practical and you're taking your time, but you're not also reaching out to this divine masculine. Okay. You want the masculine to show up whenever that they're ready and they're not ready right now. Ella is not what I'm seeing so far. Now, how do you guys feel? So masculines feel like they really want to confess to the feminines at this time about how they ran away from the connection. They don't feel good. They regret a lot of things that they have done and they want to tell you the truth. So again, this is all about like being social. Maybe this is about like, you know, having like a public image. Um, it was really important to this masculine about how they're being perceived by their peers or by their coworkers or friends and family. So their ego got in the way, which is this six of wands energy. All they wanted was success. All they wanted was public recognition, you know, and uh, right now they're going through some sort of recovery. They're trying to improve themselves. You know, for the longest time, I feel like these masculines, they feel like they were lack or maybe they couldn't like really offer you much, you know, physically because of material um, situations, you know, maybe they invest into the karmic and it's going to be difficult for them to get out of the situation. That's why the karmic came up with a pentacle. I kid you not, you know, this karmic came in with a pentacle. They had expectations that the masculine is going to continue to support this, uh, karmic. Okay. And, um, you know, masculine, they, they keep getting this nudge, you know, what are you going to release? You know, you know what you need to release, but are they doing it? I'm getting no. They're thinking about it. Okay. Are they doing anything about it? Maybe, maybe not now, but there is a progression, right? I really feel like there's some things that are going to be happening between now and the end of the year where this masculine is going to just about, you know, like they're going to about had it. Okay, with this karmic situation, that's for some. So, and for some of these masculines, they just might just suck it up and, uh, you know, just ride that wave with the karmic, you know. Uh, let's see. For you, feminine, okay, I see that you're overloaded. You have a bunch of responsibilities and you're really struggling, okay. You want some help too, you know. Maybe this masculine has children and, you know, they have kids, you know, maybe with the karmic or maybe they have combined children, whatever the case is, okay? They're trying to recover from any any kind of situation that they're dealing with, with the karmic. And I see that with you. Hold on. I see that with you, feminine. Um you have so much that's going on and maybe you're working on self-improvement too. So both you and masculines are both working on yourself, your truth, you know, and, and really working on like your sense of dignity and pride and ego. Okay. On an individual level. So what is it that you guys want? Masculines are not happy. They want a divorce. They want to get a separation with the karmic. I'm also saying that, you know, masculines are going through some awakening. They want a renewal. They want to know, would you forgive them? Okay. Again, these could be thoughts that are going on with this masculine. You know, and for some, you know, they may actually, you know, come through and communicate to, uh, this to you. But this is what they want 
from the connection at this time. For you, feminine, I see that there are new opportunities for growth, for you to take action, for a sense of renewal. You're going, you're going through an awakening. You know, you've been needing help, but you've been self-reliant. You've been self-sufficient. You didn't have nobody to help you. You were doing it solo while this masculine, okay, they kind of ran from the situation and they were helping the karmic. You know, you have to think about time. You know, timing is an illusion. You know, you can, you know, keep living this linear life, you know, doing X, Y, and Z. What matters is the present moment. That's why the future doesn't matter. The past is already in the past. You got to think about today. What are you going to do today to make the most out of your, your precious human life? And is this masculine going to, you know, go on the side of caution and, you know, keep on with appearances, you know, or are they wanting to just, you know, end the situation, stop being fake, really show up with, uh, you know, being authentic, you know, and, you know, and, and why are they not really communicating? Is it because of their ego? Obviously, yes, I see it. They're not happy either. There's a lot of truth that's coming through. You know, for you, feminine, you've been patient. You've been waiting on your soulmate, your, your twin flame over here. Okay. It's been a long time. You've been wanting help yourself, you know, but you've been doing it all on your own and you're ready. You have like some sort of awareness um, that, you know, you're spiritually, you know, growing within yourself. You know that, you know, sitting back and doing nothing, thinking about things is not going to, you know, help you in any way. You're going to actually take action on the things that you know, okay? Things that you believe in your heart. And that is the awakening, okay? Uh, that, you know, because I saw that with the magician, right? For my feminines, we have the magician, you're very close to achieving your goals. So keep doing what you're doing. So again, this is, you know, double confirmation on both masculine and feminine's energy, you know, at this time. And so what is the outcome here? Masculines are feeling hopeless. Okay. Um, they're feeling like the monotony of the situation. Um, they're going through a breakup. It could be a divorce or separation and they're going through some arguments, you know? So right now they may not be in a position to approach the feminine. I really feel like this is the masculine going through a disagreement and argument with the karmic. So eventually I do see that there will be a breakup or an ending to the relationship with the karmic partner, but it may take two months from now. Okay. And that's for some. Um, also for the feminines, I see that you're holding on, but you're going to be setting boundaries. Okay. At this point, you know, you have every right to be greedy. Okay. Because you don't want to sell for less. And I really feel like, you know, this divine masculine has hardened up, you know, the, the divine feminine to where you're not just going to accept, you know, any person or any situation because of how this masculine puts you in, into this, you know, this vibration you know, of being self-reliant, independent, you know, not being codependent and really trying to, you know, practice this patience, you know, not really, you know, jumping on one relationship to the next, you know, just to fill a void, right? Because you realize that if you have done that before in the past, it's not working for you. You want a stable, solid person that you have your heart to, you know, but it takes two, right? Is this masculine, you know, feeling the same towards the feminine? Right now, I see a lot of energies where the masculine is focused in on the karmic. So let me pull one more. So masculines are, they're feeling really defensive right now. Okay. Um, there is a delay in this masculine of offering a new relationship to the feminine. For some, it could take another month, but I definitely see that it's coming. Okay. So we have like one or two months for this collective where you may be receiving an offer from the masculine feminines. Okay. Um, there is some sort of temptation that is actually uh, going to test you. Okay. I'm going to have to put it out there. Um, you feel kind of stuck because you want a new love. And um, again, your ego is getting in the way. 
you know, you're thinking like, well, how long is it going to take? You know, uh, you really want a partnership. You want a relationship. You know, you don't want to sit and wait around for this mask and get out of a relationship. I completely understand. And I'm not telling anybody to wait around. But what I'm seeing is that there is going to be some sort of tempting offer that is going to be coming through where this individual is going to be offering you a relationship. Okay, and I really feel that if it's this masculine, okay, just be wary, okay, um, go slow, okay, because I still see that there's a situation with this masculine still dealing with the karmic, it's not over yet, okay, so at, for some people, they still could be uh, with the karmic energetically, but they're physically separated, but they still have to talk to them. They still have to deal with them. Okay, so just be careful. That is what I'm saying. But this is going to happen between one to two months from what I can see. So let's go ahead and take a look at this masculine done with the karmic. Actually, I'm going to use the same deck over here. And let me use the other deck because I have two <laughs> this is the original with the plant card stock this is second place I still like how it feels um, but this you can definitely see the pictures better this one just feels smooth So, Spirit, can you please reveal to me the energies between Divine Masculine and the Karmic? What is the energy between Divine Masculine and the Karmic? What do we need to know about Divine Masculine and the Karmic? How are they thinking towards one another? How are they feeling? What do they want? And what is the outcome? Thank you. Look at this. I can't make it up. We have justice and it's reverse. So this is like uh, something that wasn't fair. There was corruption. Um, I'm also getting like for some, they're going through a divorce. Could be a breakup or a separation. And look, we have the devil. No kidding. So there is temptation. It's materialism. It, it's like feeling stuck on one another. And masculine here. Okay, they could be a father. They know that they're trying to be a protector and they have every say as to what they need to do. And I see that um, they're aware that they need to forgive the karmic. Okay, so again, like I said, they, they some of these masculines, they are still with the karmic. They're talking about like, you know, maybe, you know, getting a divorce and it may not be as extreme as a divorce. It could just be an argument. Okay, it wasn't fair. There's something that wasn't fair in the connection between masculine and the karmic. And I'm also seeing that they're willing to work on it. So again, here is divine masculine showing compassion towards the karmic energy. You know, um, they really want to put some effort to work or fix the situation. And they really want to free themselves and overcome any kind of obstacles that they're dealing with. Okay, they want to be honest towards uh, the karmic that they were irrational or maybe there was some kind of irrational conversation between the two and they were being controlling and cold. Now, do you see that? Okay, now the queen and king of swords are showing up. You know, this could be about a married couple. So they really wanted to uh, communicate the reasons why they're being like that. And they may say that. Maybe they were too lazy to meet up with the karmic's friends and family. You know, maybe they didn't want to spend the money. You know, maybe they're just like saying like, well, we don't have the money to be socializing with, you know, the neighbors or blah, blah, blah. Right. You know, because there's also kids involved, especially if there's children. And let's say that, you know, they want to go to the pumpkin patch this weekend. I'm right? just putting an example. And um, yeah, it was like, you know. The masculine and the karmic, their children, and then they have like friends, and then their their children, and it's just a bunch of expenses, right? You know, and I really feel like you know this masculine, 
they're exhausted. They wanted to give up. They were overwhelmed. And so um, they really felt like, you know, they wanted to be bitter towards the karmic. I have a feeling like they had like some sort of argument and that caused like, you know, some sort of setback where, you know, this masculine didn't want to change. And I see that they they kind of lacked the plan. So let's say that this was a, like a last minute plan that they had. Um, it was a it was a failure. OK, so I have a feeling like this past weekend, if they had like plans or maybe this coming week, you know, they have plans with the karmic and the friends and family. And it requires like, you know, to spend some money or whatnot. You know, it's just extra. And that's why I really feel like the karmic, they have expectations. They're like, well, you know, we need to do things as a family. Like I'm, I'm hearing like all kinds of stuff and they seem legitimate. Okay. I'm not going to lie. It seems legitimate reasons for this karmic wanting to, you know, go on a social expert. It's not just about showing up with the friends, but also what about the kids, right? Now, I feel like, you know, with these two, in the past couple of years, they've been trying to balance this stuff out. You know, maybe they're trying to like negotiate and, you know, trying to like, you know, kind of see each other from each other's perspectives. And, you know, learning how to manage time a little bit better and money. So they're both holding on to each other for material reasons. Okay, so it's not fair that they're kind of stuck in this situation. That's what it looks like. Okay, they're stuck on for material reasons. And I see it in here. I mean, like, and also there is some movement forward about choices and decisions about partnerships. Okay, and I see that they're feeling insecure. One person is over getting over giving and being needy and codependent. And I feel like it's the karmic. The karmic is like, well, you know, are you going to give me a gift or, you know, um, you never really do anything. You know, I'm hearing all kinds of stuff. And for this masculine, it's, it feels forced. Like the, the masculine feels like they have to do this for the karmic because they've chosen the karmic, you know, like, so they would, it would be like a sense of entitlement that that is like the normal thing that, you know, that they should expect in a relationship, right? Like, you know, receiving gifts or maybe being kind to the spouse or whatever this is, you know, spouse, counterpart, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Now they keep thinking about the past and um, I really feel like things are, are kind of getting stagnant because of masculines being arrogant and it could be uh, the karmic and it could be feelings of jealousy violence abuse for some and masculine needs to let go and learn to say no to the stress so i'm i'm hearing that for some of these karmics they actually beat up on this masculine you know and what is the masculine gonna do sit back and you know let let the karmic wail on them that's why you know I don't know if y'all remember the Amber Heard case, right? I mean, like some of these cars are crazy like that, you know, where they're going to play like, well, I'm the victim, you know, and just because, you know, dude was a, a guy, you know, and guys have like this stigma of, you know, being the one that is the abuser, you know, for these karmic heifers, okay, they know how to, to play the game, okay? And so I really feel like, you know, they're playing drama, you know, and they they try to get whatever they want and that's for some that's not for all now i feel like masculines are feeling motivated okay to really fix things and they know that they're being unrealistic okay so for some you know they're kind of like moody maybe they're jealous maybe they're jealous of other couples you know like other couples they have like their life together and this masculine does not you know it feels like kind of staged but you know, are the other couples that they're dealing with, are they truly happy? Maybe for some, yes, they're generally happy. I really feel like this masculine chose the karmic for the wrong reasons. They thought that they they wanted what, you know, the karmic and things like that. But they come to realize that there's a difference. Because remember, we saw that the community, right? There was a community card that showed up. And it came up in reverse. So th what that tells me is that this masculine, when it comes to the karmic and the, and the group of people that, that they're with, it's like they're not gelling together, okay, with their groups of people. 
That's what I'm saying. So masculine here is letting go. They're trying to open up. They feel guilty, okay, because there's a gold digger here, okay? Somebody's being dishonest and cheap. And it could be like the masculine. Maybe masculine's being cheap, but the karmic is the gold digger, okay? Take it as it resonates. But I see that, you know, they're trying to release the pain. They want to reconcile and they want to compromise. So again, here we go on the karmic wheel. It's like, what are you apologizing for? Is it ego, like staying stuck in a relationship that you're not happy in? Because I clearly can see it. It's like, why keep dragging the relationship on? Is it for material reasons? You know, is it going to uh, really be the detriment of this masculine if they were to get out of a relationship with somebody that, you know, they don't really gel with, you know? I mean, and like I say, everyone's situation is different, but this is what I'm seeing masculines have no direction there's a bunch of obstacles and they don't have any control over the situation but they really want to look they want to reciprocate and be in this community and they really want to be equal so i have a feeling for like these collective and masculines they are trying really hard to blend the fit in like when it comes to community they really want to be a part of it but they realize that the community is the wrong group you know, and they feel forced to do stuff. It doesn't feel natural. And that's what it seems like. So let's see. Look at this masculine. We have here third party conflict, trust issues, and imbalance. They're not feeling very stable. They want to move on. Okay. With this uh, six of swords energy. And here's the karmic. They feel sadness, loss, guilt, and regret. You know, maybe because of a divorce. You know, whoever wanted to ask for a divorce. You know, I don't know. I mean, I feel like there is some sort of like this discussion, like a disagreement. I don't know if it, it escalated to a fight, but that's for some. But I really feel like, you know, there's like, you know, not seeing eye to eye. Maybe you guys are not talking, you know, differences of opinion, things like that. So how do you guys feel? Masculines, um, they really want to end the cycle. Okay. They are devoted, okay? Some of them are married and they're being loyal. That So they're they're playing it like, okay, they want to be successful. They, they're, they're being loyal, but why are they being loyal? Do they love the karmic? That's the question. You can be loyal, but you have to be loyal for a reason. You know, I mean, if you're just being loyal just to be loyal, I mean, that's great. But I mean, like for what reason, right? I see that this karmic, okay, they're committed. They want to dedicate to this marriage. So, again, I see that masculine is karmic. They're working it out, okay? That's for some. Like I said, you know, there are talks of, of a divorce or a marriage, but like I say, in a couple of months, it may happen, like, around that time frame. But for now, this is how they're feeling, like they really want to work it out. So how are they, uh, what is it that they want? Masculines, they want to have a new beginning, okay? But they're feeling defensive and they're delaying, okay? Now, what I'm getting is that this is a new beginning with the feminine because remember, I was talking about like between one to two months, this masculine will be able to make an offer to the feminine. But right now, they're just playing it safe, okay? They're not doing whatever it takes, Okay, to offer up to the karmic. Now, the karmic, they have the magician card. So it's very similar to divine feminine. They have the opportunity to manifest the commitment <clears throat> with this masculine, but they're being paranoid. Now, we all been there, okay? Like where you're in a relationship with somebody else and something feels off and then there's paranoia that sets in. Well, you have to really think about this feminine. Okay, the karmic is also feeling this also with your masculine. Okay, masculines, you know, they really want to offer a new beginning, but they don't know. And maybe, you know, this is an offer to the karmic and they just don't know if they're doing the right thing, but they're giving it up anyways, right? And I really feel like it's it's really especially for those who are actually stuck in a marriage. Okay, now in the outcome... There's lies, there's sneakiness, there's spying and cheating. Pearl masculine. Um, okay, so they're like, okay, they want to be successful, they want to have it all, but they're not really 
you know, telling this to the karmic. The karmic has some sort of fear. Okay, they want to tell the masculine the truth that they want a stable, healthy, wealthy partner. So, masculines really focus on their stability and independence, and the karmic is also uh, codependent on this masculine to be that way. That's why they're kind of stuck in this relationship. Okay, they're dealing with their karmic. Okay, the karmic is being selfish and jealous. Okay, they keep asking for X, Y, and Z, which makes it difficult for this masculine to leave this karmic. Also, there's conflict. So they're avoiding the talk with the karmic situation. And for the karmic, okay, uh, they are like indulging in themselves. They're feeling a bit impatient and they're avoiding conflict. So this karmic may come off hot and cold towards this masculine. The masculine doesn't know what the heck is going on with this karmic. But that's the energy. Like, honestly, guys, okay, these masculines are still dealing with the karmic situation. And for some, it doesn't look like they're going to end the relationship because they're still trying to, like, fake it, fake the relationship with the karmic because it's safer that way. Like, they don't have to go through, like, the public, you know, uh, damage of their reputation. You know, the holidays are around the corner. You know, it's just too much, right? But it's going to take a strong masculine to really make a, a decision. You know, is this a life for them? Are they going to continue on? I see that, you know, whatever groups of people that they're dealing with, they're just not into it anymore. Okay. That's what I'm seeing so far. So let me pull one more. Masculines, they have hope. Okay. Um, they're going to be using their intuition to heal themselves. And again, for the karmic okay they're they're really confident in themselves about like their image so this is what it feels like they had like a little nasty argument or disagreement okay they may have gone silent on each other but they come back and then they reconcile with one another you know and is it like a you know a forever thing? No, because this is this has been a repeat thing that I feel has been going on with this masculine and the karmic for some time. You know, so it's just a matter of time, right? And like I say, the time is now. You want to keep obviously masculines are are still choosing the karmic. At least that's what I'm seeing for this week. We're at the ten ten portal. So this is an opportunity for a new beginning. It's a new beginning for a renewal of love with the karmic, or is this, you know, letting go of a karmic situation to be open towards the feminine? It's going to be different for everybody, okay? But I see that masculines, they really want to get out of this. Do I see that this masculine is getting out today? No, they're still with them. You know, and I know that this isn't going to be for everyone because this is a general, you know, karmic reading with feminine and masculine energy, but take it as it resonates, okay? And like I said, if you want a personal reading, you can definitely book a personal reading with me. I may pick up, you know, something different, but it's going to be specific to you, your person, and the karmic also. And um, just a forewarning, okay? Not all of the karmic relationships are, are going to be easy to hear. That's a, a disclaimer. <laughs> okay. So let me go ahead and pull an Akashic message because I still feel like it's going to take time. You know, there is no change in their relationship. They're going to continue on with that broken record of a situation where, you know, they talk about the same things, but it's not like a resolution. It's just like sweeping things under the rug and just dealing with it. You know, I mean, is there love in that connection? It doesn't feel like it, to be honest. It feels like they're just putting up with appearances and, and just like, not even like really working at the, the issue here. Now, for some of these masculines, if they're awakened, you know, maybe there's some healing uh, karma, karmic contract that they have with their karmic people before they can make their way back to the feminine. But, you know, like I say, everyone's situation is different. So let's see. Uh, Spirit, what is uh, the guidance that you have? What is going to show up for the collective and their Akashic records? 
What does this collective need to know? What does this collective need to know? We have Archangel Raphael, and it, it is in reverse. It's number eight. Let's see. It says this card could signify an emotional or physical condition or a split in the family that needs to be healed. Something troubles you and you may not realize that you're not using all of your resources. Let Raphael be a part of the solution, even if you've never considered about asking for heavenly help before. Consider all of your options for healing, the issue, the uh, emotions at hand. Practice meditation to bring yourself to a higher perspective. Consciously work through your thoughts and words to help shift difficult feelings. And if therapy would be helpful, seek that out. Whether you're suffering from a broken heart, from a lost love, or painful childhood memories, it's time to stop living in the dark. Again, this is about letting go of the past. Live in the present moment. Okay? You know, don't even think about the future. Think about what is going on right now. Right now. And then once you resolve it, then, you know, you get a karmic pass. You know, that's how it works. So, Raphael longs to bring his light and love to your life. Open your heart, ask for help, and let him in. When you do, you may find that your miracle awaits. Now, in the very beginning of this reading, okay, we have this angel of balance. Okay, this is how masculine connects to the feminine. Feminine, you help this masculine, okay? tap into their higher self okay with this uh energy with the pyramids here okay because there's a definite connection that you have and i see that there's like this alchemy for you to balance yourself out that's why i really feel like the spiritual couple even though that you guys are in separation you guys are still together so it's unfortunate yes that masculine is going through a physical relationship with a karmic but that's the thing about this masculine. Also with you, friend, and it really doesn't matter who I'm talking to, right? This is generally speaking. If you're in a relationship with someone and you know that it's not the right thing, but you continue to do that thing that isn't right, you know, why continue to do it? Is it because out of your ego? And is it because out of the other person that you're dealing with, does that make you like insensitive, you know, towards the other person? Um, I really feel like, you know, if the other person doesn't see it your way and they're only thinking for themselves, then obviously there is like, you know, a situation where you guys need to really look at, you know, each other's, you know, shortcomings. And really be empathetic and really show compassion towards all people, all situations. So it's not about like wanting to hurt X, Y, and Z, which the karmic, I mean, the masculine has already done towards the divine feminine, because I'm not seeing that masculines or feminine are together at this time. It's more so the karmic. Masculines are still dealing with the karmic. And yes, you know, sometimes we don't want to know exactly what's going on with the masculine and the karmic, but I'm seeing it. They have like their own thing going on, you know? And until the masculine resolves their issues with that karmic and realize that, okay, thank you, karmic, for the lesson, they realize that the karmic is not the one for them, you know, then they can move on, you know, with a spiritual connection with the feminine and the physical if that's what they want but if they keep choosing other relationships because we all have free will right free will the thing about free will is that you have the free will to choose whatever you damn well please but the result may not be the the way that you had anticipated you know it, it's like you know masculine d didn't really want to be with the, the feminine you know, because of insecurities of, of, you know, all kinds of reasons, right? But ultimately, in the end, 
that is where mask would like to be but they they you know they learned that through karmic experiences they had to go through these situations to really appreciate you know the feminine and also really work on themselves that's why why we have these you know love triangles you know and also you know feminines you know continue to raise your vibration because you are the the way showers you know you are the light for for the collective and it's a very difficult position for you to be in but fear not okay because we have uh archangel raphael here who is helping the collective and that's why i'm saying you know open up your hearts and you shall receive the answer that you've been looking for you know and for some you guys can manifest union faster if there was an opening of the heart and that's what i have guys so i really hope that that was helpful let me know thank you all for watching and if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me again the sale will actually be extended until the 15th so you guys have plenty of time uh, to book a reading if you feel so called to do so and again thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye i hope you all enjoyed today's reading if you're interested in my latest tarot deck tarot visions you can order your version on my website or on etsy at etsy.com slash shop slash scorpio moon intuition this is a 78 card divination deck with upright and reverse interpretations to help you improve your reading skills but also enhance your intuition with clairvoyance clairsentience clairaudience and more copies will be mailed in october 2022 this is a limited edition deck so reserve yours while supplies last also, you can check out my latest book on how you can attract everything you desire using Law of Attraction. It is a manifestation challenge workbook using the 555 method. Check it out on Amazon or through my Etsy shop online. Also, if you're interested in journaling or writing down your dreams, I have a collection of notebooks to help you make plans, take notes, and so much more. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.